All right. So obviously normally when I do videos for before uh, a new league, after they've done the trailer, it's a little bit more formal. But here I think we're going to be able to tackle uh, this very important point that I'm making in this PowerPoint, which is Scourge is beyond, as I said in a tweet on October 6th, and it's a very important discussion about how I was right, actually. All right, let us begin. My thesis statement for this is based almost entirely on one comment by Chris Wilson during the Q&A with Ziggy D is uh, you know what, let's let's play that clip first, and then we'll talk about what just happened. Be separate. These are independent um, in the universe? Yeah. This, there are plot implications of Scourge that go beyond the League, but it um, certainly is a new set of demons the player hasn't encountered before. Hold on, let's hear that again. What does he say? What does he say? Yeah. This, there are plot implications of Scourge that go beyond the League, but it um, that go what? certainly is a new set of demons the player hasn't encountered before. Okay. Ah, okay. These are new demons. There are plot implications for Scourge. I'm covering the word Scourge, but whatever. That go beyond the League, but it's certainly a new set of demons. Beyond... Beyond the League, right? Hmm? Oh yeah, I can turn the music down for sure. In fact, I might just turn the music... Uh, I might just... I don't think about it, I don't know if I can even have the music on, so this recording might not even be valid, but whatever. Beyond the League, okay? So this is plot implications. He's saying that they're new demons as well. These are important things to keep in mind. Cool. Let us that. continue. What is Scourge? So there is a woman, a new NPC. She hands you a device called the Blood Crucible. I would like to do a body language analysis on Chris when he says beyond the league. <laughs> oh, you'll highlight it after. Thank you. So. She gives you a blood crucible that you implant into your body, and then it fills with blood from the monsters you slay. Once it's filled with enough blood, you can transport into this alternate reality, and then you're able to uh, fight these demons. Once you've transformed into their plane of existence, you can fight the demons known as the Scourge. Now, let's be clear, known by this woman from a different place that has been affected by these demons, she calls them the Scourge, right? Interesting. So then, you know, you shift over, you fight these, it's all based on an economy of blood. Let's check out this thingy thingy. The official trailer, if you will. The day Let's highlight the some important points. The innocent were first to die. The innocent were first to die, okay. Spooky dookies. All right, let's move to... They approach your world, your ray class. You must take the fight to them. They approach your world and your ray class. They are ravenous. They're ravenous, so they're they hungry. Endless. endless. They are the sky. Okay, so what did we learn from that? They're hungry, they're approaching Ray class, they uh, are endless, they attacked innocent people. We have to bring the fight to them. Okay, all right, interesting. So, to sum up, Scourge is demons that exist in an alternate reality Ray class. They're technically there, but they're in a different dimension. 
We bring the fight to them, utilizing this blood crucible. So the blood crucible allows us to reality shift. So think of it, we're collecting a bunch of blood. And the more blood we have, the more time we have to fight these alternate reality demons. Uh, the person who gives it to us is, you know, from a land that's already been taken over by these. So they have a different name for them, or at least a unique name for them, I'm sure. Uh, and then a very important point, they, they look sick as hell, dude. It can't be in the future, you're in the same spot. It's more like a reality shift. I don't think they're from the future. But I will try to save questions for the end, just in case. So then what about beyond? I am in the way of things. Uh, <laughs> let's see, let me, let me move myself really quickly a little bit. He did literally say it's an alternate reality, it says that in a few places. There, there. Okay. So, beyond monsters or demons that spawn from accumulating blood on the ground, right? There's these little kind of blood orbs that open up into little blood portals that can sometimes open up into giant claws of blood. But another important thing to think about is that Beyond came out before there was a ton of trailers and lore. Like, this was back when there was hardcore versus softcore challenge leagues. They didn't really do anything besides like, hey, there's this thing and it's happening to you. Cool. Like, that didn't really start happening until Siri and and the, uh, what was that called? Forget what, I forget what hers was called. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Not relevant. So Beyond are considered interdimensional monsters. This is on the wiki, this is on everything they've talked about. And anyway, again, very important point. Dude, it's blood stuff. Seriously, come on, why am I explaining this? You can also see I've put the div card, the calling there, blood flows not just through the veins, but through worlds. Alternate reality worlds? Woo! That came out way before Scourge. Huh? Huh? Here's just a bunch of evidence of beyond being blood stuff. Look at that. That's crackling sky. Look at that blood portal. Look at those blood people. It's just, there's there's so much blood stuff. You're literally accumulating blood in both situations. One which opens a portal for things to come out of. One which you use in a special device that allows you to see the alternate reality that is technically on top of your existing reality and fight things for a certain amount of time until you run out of the blood. If you think of blood as the transportation system, one is creating an entrance for them, one is creating an entrance for you that's given to you by someone who's dealt with these people before. In Beyond, they were just they, they were just coming through on their own accord. In Scourge, we're taking the fight to them. Okay. The parallels in parallel dimensions. All right. So first I'll go over the Beyond thing. It says players in Beyond League deal with extra dimensional demons. When you kill monsters in proximity to each other, portals start to open and then you can potentially get bosses and stuff. Let's check out this live stream and hear Chris explain something quite similar himself. As you play through each area in the Scourge Challenge League, the Blood Crucible fills with the blood spilled by monsters you have slain. Once it reaches a certain threshold, you're able to activate the device. This will instantly thrust you into a parallel reality, an alternate ray class where some form of apocalyptic event is occurring. This ray class is overrun by demons known as the Scourge. They're powerful, dangerous, and come in many forms. The more blood you have collected, the longer you can stay shifted into the parallel ray class. Okay. Demons. He says it in Scourge. The only other thing described as demons that I can think of is beyond demons, extra dimensional demons. Parallel reality in which they're invading uh, everything going on on Rayclass. It's the same, it's the same thing. It's gotta be. All right. But the longer you stay, the more. Now here's, here's some big boy connections, all right? You remember Synthesis League? 
You remember that? You remember stuff that happened there? Venerius. What was he doing? Why did he want to get Starforge from the Elder? It's because he had seen demons. Countless demons watching from the darkness clawing at a thin veil that keeps our world separated from ours. That sounds like an alternate reality to me. Like another dimension, a parallel reality that's on top of our reality. And he's seen that these demons, he's seen beyond. He's seen these demons are trying to get in. So he wanted to try to save the world from beyond monsters, right? He's saying that their ray class needs me. I do this for mankind. Uh... They're getting closer. The real monsters surround us. Um, so then there's also Niles. When he talks about the Thought Extractor, when he did that on Venarius when he was younger, uh, he says, he talks about the single jewel in the ocean, but he says, uh, if that was how I saw the world, it would be almost a comfort to believe in gods. At least then there would be somebody who could stand against the tide. But even then, against what I saw... So if he's seeing what Venarius is thinking about, he's potentially seeing, you know, them in this void. And Venarius definitely was thinking about beyond demons and all that kind of jimma jamma. We would need something to hold back the tide of evil. Venarius even says they're a great tide of evil that wishes to crash down upon us. That sounds exactly what Niles is describing him seeing Venarius think about when he was using the Thought Extractor. So, if we can say that Venarius wanted to protect against beyond and potentially other interdimensional things, uh, then beyond are considered interdimensional demons. He's specifically talking about demons here. And now we're calling the Scourge monsters interdimensional demons. They both use blood Blood, 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 blood demons, demon blood, alternate reality blood. Can you see what I'm talking about? <clears throat> In conclusion, that's my tweet where I'm very correct. <laughs> Beyond and Scourge are both blood based, are from an alternate reality. Venarius was worried about Beyond demons approaching Rayclast, and now this new NPC is telling us that there's demons approaching Ray class that have already taken over her place that come from an alternate reality, right? So we must fight them before they take over. Beyond didn't have lore at the time because it was too early for them to really go through lore. And of course, the final and only thing you really need to take out of this is I'm a genius, so trust me, I'm probably right about it. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <sighs> yes.